Hello friends, welcome back to Green Bluff, our 100% sustainable city. We're in City Skylines Remastered, playing through the green power scenario. Today, I'm starting off the episode with some lovely night views of our city. In the last episode, we worked on this downtown area and created the start of an entertainment district with some city stadiums and arenas. We also worked on moving our industry to the south side of our main highway interchange and we created a lovely pedestrian plaza to give our warehouse workers the opportunity to enjoy some green space while on their lunch break. We're going to continue working on this industrial area but we're going to focus on expanding it by taking advantage of the natural forests we have in the area. I've got a couple of new tunes for you today so I hope you enjoy. Now let's start creating. As much as I enjoy creating this industrial district, I learned that some trucks traveling from Dresden Springs were having trouble reaching their destination due to the traffic we have coming from the main highway entry point. To help alleviate some of this traffic, I decided to convert some of the industry to offices, mainly on the west side of the district, where we have some commercial and another mini pedestrian plaza. I'm also planning on adding in some low density commercial as well. I don't want this area to become a bunch of tall towers and skyscrapers. We also have a high need for jobs, so I'm hoping once I add in the forestry industry, it will really help alleviate this need. Now for the fun part, let's start this forestry district, shall we? I'm going to use a combination of regular roads and gravel roads for this area with this main medium arterial as the entry point and gravel roads will be in between the lumber lots. I mostly chose gravel roads for aesthetic I just think it looks really natural to have a gravel road in between these layers of green forestry wooded lots. Also, I decided to have some smaller blocks for this district, which I think turned out really well. I'm going to be coming back and forth to this area throughout the episode while I work on other things. I don't think I mentioned this in the intro, but we will be starting on a university campus today as well. So, we've got a lot going on, so stick around.
All right, so I've got an idea of where I want the university campus to be, but we've got to figure out a better way to handle the traffic in this area. I'm not loving the current location of this metro station, so I'm going to move it slightly to the right so that it's above the main highway connection for the area. I'm going to also make some minor adjustments to the track so that everything connects correctly. Also, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I made a new highway interchange and y'all, it needs some work. <laughs> You'll see it soon, but right now I really want to get the forestry area and the campus area off the ground, so let's get back to work. So for the campus area, I went with the Liberal Arts College, mostly because it has an environmental studies asset. And since this is supposed to be a green city, I thought it was only appropriate. You've probably noticed that I got rid of the above ground metro line that was in front of this administration building. It was in the way, so I moved it below ground, which works out much better for us. It always feels so daunting starting a campus area, and this this really was no different. <laughs> With so many large assets and expensive ones at that, it takes me a minute to figure out what I'm actually going to do and how everything is going to be laid out. I almost always have dormitories on the left of the administration building. I have no idea why I tend to place them there, but that's just how it works out. <laughs> I'm trying to make a somewhat symmetrical pathing system around the dormitories. Although once I place down some other assets, the buildings themselves will not be symmetrical. While working on the university campus, our forestry district levels up. So we're going to take a look at that after this. So stick around.
So we've already got a lot 
done in this episode and I just wanted to show you how everything is turning out. Our forestry area is looking quite good and we have a warehouse connected to a train track to export goods. With the district leveling up, we got the sawdust storage building and some small tree sapling fields that make the area look really nice. I've also placed down some workers barracks and I created a little bit of a pattern with the forestry lots. Now, let's take a look at our mixed use office and commercial area. We've got a combination of low density and medium density buildings here, and we no longer have the issue where we were experiencing logistics problems at the beginning of the episode. Take a look at this lovely plaza that I created in the middle of this district. This is something that I've never done before, but I highly recommend doing this if you want to spruce up your industrial areas. We've still got quite a bit of traffic going on in this main arterial road, but we're going to deal with that in a later episode. Let's take a closer look at this pedestrian bridge that connects our campus area to the main arterial road. It goes over the metro line and acts as a closer connection for our students and faculty coming off the metro. I've still got a lot more to show you in this episode, but I'll let you know now we're going to be working on a brand new shopping and hotel district. So stay tuned.
for our downtown entertainment district, I'm adding in a couple of special assets to help fill out the area. First, I placed a transport tower and then I placed down this science center, which fits perfectly beside it. For now, I'm going to leave that green space open, potentially for some offices or maybe some high density commercial. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. In Dresden Springs, our steel mill and lemonade factory are temporarily closed until we get some more resources. These buildings are very large and I thought placing this electric car factory here would help fill out the empty space and complement the other assets. I also placed a semiconductor plant beside it. Now let's start on our new shopping district. I'm just doing a little bit of terraforming to flatten out the area before placing down rows. I'm going to be using the Mall of Marvels as the main centerpiece to this area, and my plan is to place down some other shopping assets around it, like the contemporary and traditional department stores. I've never placed down this mall before, so it took me some time to figure out how to place it in the way that I wanted it to look.
To make this district stand out even more, I tie in the metro station by placing some high density commercial behind it along with some pedestrian paths so people can walk directly from the station to the shops. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more Vanilla City Skylines content. I really appreciate your support. So now let's get back to creating.
Now, we're ending the episode off by adding in some athletic arenas to our university campus. I've created this back row to potentially add in some high density residential or maybe some shops. I'm not really sure yet what's going to go there, but I think I like having these sports arenas off to the side and close to our new highway interchange to allow easy access for visitors. We've done a lot in this episode, and I just want to thank you for joining me today. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.